Okay. Man, horse travel is so much faster. Uh oh, torches on the road. Looks like Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard, yes. Yeah. Until next time. It's a lot of you. Five of them. Back to it. I kind of want to check this out. If this isn't a dungeon, I'm going to... I mean, if it's like surface only, I mean, you know, does that make sense? I should probably... Hotkey, stone flesh, because I should use it a lot, I hope. Let's be bold and I, shall we? Stay there, Glim. Whoa! Skeevers. That's not too bad. I'll take this because it you can use it to make um, damage health. We need to do this quickly because it's cold. We don't want our horse dying. Okay. All right. So there's a chest here. Um, here. Adept. Crap. Well, can't get that. Anything else in here? Activate pedestal. Nope, this must be part of a quest. And we're getting really cold. Rats. So all we got out of that was measly two skeever tails? Oh well. We tried. Glim? There you are. Quickly. Double time, girl. Ah, Lights of Civilization. Fantastic. Oof. Terrible weather, but thank god we're here. There's no, there's no, where's the, where do I take my horse? Is this a stable? Not really. It's a mine. But seriously, is there? I thought there was a. There's no um, stable here. Hmm. Could stick her in that fenced-in area. It's another mine. Like the long house, I'm freezing cold. Okay, I just don't have time. I'll just stick her between these two houses here. And we'll pretend like this is some kind of shelter for her. Stay warm, girl. Be good. Into the long house. It's just too cold otherwise. Hello there. Unless you're here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't The Jarl standing outside? Uh, nightmare? That's right. Dawnstar. My dawn star is plagued with nightmares. I haven't slept properly in days. That priest of Mara who came here before you says the divines will cure it. Priest of Mara? Well, until they do, I don't have any business to discuss with outsiders. Hmm. Wouldn't really ask any of these other questions. Don't bother me again unless it's important. Let's just go inside and... I mean, I know that was the Jarls, but we still would like to meet the steward and maybe the commanding officer. Oh yeah, see how your vision blurs when you're really cold? That's kind of cool. Just let her warm up here for a minute. It's good. I hope the horses aren't affected by it. The uh, frost fall, I mean. I 
I don't think that they are, but I still. Bullfrick, who are you? By the divines, I'm tired. Until next time. <laughs> what? Hail to you. Come on, Anag. Wake up. Just there we go. The servant of Skald the Elder. Not worthy of time or consideration. Hello. The Jarl is tired. Be mindful of that. All right. All then. I can ask people is this whistle thing from the horses mod. <laughs> hmm? Looks like a vendor in here. <gasps> Disenchantment. Let's talk to this guy and see if we can disenchant that helmet. It's 12 pounds less than we want to carry. Hello there. Next Imperial I see is dead. Jeez. I guess I don't have to ask you how you feel about the war, huh? Skyrim is the birthplace of humanity, the birthplace of honor, and those snowbacked Imperials renounced both when they laid down before the Thalmor. Worse still, to pay for the privilege to keep his throne, the Emperor sells Skyrim and our very gods, Talos no less, to the damn elves. Hmm. And what did Torin do? He and he the Alden supported him. They took the Emperor's gold, sold out their people for a slave master's peace treaty. Ulfric did right killing him. Oh. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody Justicars, and the Yars in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. And we'll cleave through the Legion to get to them. Hmm. There's a part of a knight that my leave, admires the Stormcloaks. Ooh. Um, you know, anger at the Empire and the Thalmor and the Aldmeri Dominion for the way that the war, the Great War, turned out. But um, at the same time, she thinks they're just a little too like. Oh, I can't even and disenchant the damn helmet. Why not? I already have it, don't I? Do I? Fortify Restoration. Well, crap. I've been carrying it around forever. And I could have gotten some good gold for it. Oh, well. I wonder if there's anybody here I could sell it to. I mean, obviously not you. Okay, well, there's nothing. This place is dead. Let's go to the, um, the inn, which I... Th Think is right next door. Divine sake, Skald. Who do you think we're threatening with our Let's just do a sorry, I interrupted her War speech, wounds. but we're not soldiers anymore. Your man Damn faithless Imperials. Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Skald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. Ooh. I'll have you both executed. An Imperial in a... I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served in the Legion, this land became my home. An Imperial in a Stormcloak sympathetic town. Hello there. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. You were arguing with the Jarl. Skald supports Ulfric's rebellion. And he doesn't like having a couple of old legionnaires living in his town. Hmm. You're in He's the Legion. A, fool. a dragon has attacked Helgen. Dawnstar needs the Empire now more than ever. That, I think, is something that Anaig is starting to, to um, agree with. I really need to find a place for the night and some place I can get some food and a drink. Drowning your troubles in mead? A lot of folks are doing that these days. You'll want the Wind Peak in. As for work, you could try to catch Scald in a good mood, but your best bet would be working in the mines. They're on opposite ends of town. Hmm. Uh, whistle? Huh? <whistles> hmm. Can you help me learn how to whistle? It can't be helped. I'm thinking that this is something, a skill that you have to learn. Stay out of trouble now. And then once you learn it, you can call your horse. You okay, girl? Yeah, you're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Let's find the inn. Barracks? Is this the inn? Wind Peak Inn. You know what? Let's bring... Oh, here we go. Yep, we're going to stick Glim right in there. Oh, 
Ooh. Must be a guard tower. I wonder if it's a uh, guard tower up there. I wonder if it's still uh, garrisoned. Oh, cool. You keep your torch out when you're on the... No, actually a Nag's crotch is on fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's take that out. Uh, the hell? Better not get stuck, Glim. Thank you. Okay, well, with the absence of a proper stable, we're just going to shove Glim here in the uh, chicken yard. It's not much, I know, but it's something. She should be safe here. If the chickens are safe, Glim will be safe. Right, girl? Yeah. Axe. Glitching snowflake or something. Okay. Wow. Last time we encountered a drunken reveler outside of an inn, it didn't go well, but hello. Can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. Yeah, it seems to be a thing, huh? Here, let me get you a drink. Got any ale or mead? As a matter of fact, I do. I came across quite a bit of mead uh, in the last uh, quest that I did. Mm, mm. <laughs> He's too happy to even say thank you. That's what I'm going to say. Alright, some dinner, and we'll see about getting a room. Overall, Anag is pleased with that trip. Horse uh, proved quite useful, actually. Hello there. You guys must be miners. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. Understood. Tough day at the mines. I swear the ore is getting harder to dig. Hmm. You're just getting older. That's why I come here to talk to you. Rita, the bard, apparently. Hello there. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams, so don't ask. Oh, again with the bad dreams. Um, I'm looking for somebody who could tell me something about the town. Have you lived here long? <laughs> I'm the oldest woman in Donstar. Was here when Skald the Elder was Skald the Younger. He's a fool if you haven't met him already. I have. Thinks Ulfric Stormcloak is invincible and spits dragon fire. The no, in a way he kind of does. Marilis when they need things settled. Real firebrand going up. Wasn't surprised when she joined the Legion. I met Brina as well, actually. Okay, good to know. So Skarl is kind of a bum and Brina is okay. That's good, because the Nig's sympathies are leaning more and more towards... Don't worry. Uh, Nightmares don't seem to happen for travelers. Really? That's rather curious. Um, and Nig's sympathies tend to run more right. toward the Imperials every day, it seems. She was really impressed with the Town of Solitude and with Castle Dower. Um, and... Uh, Um, generally, she's realizing that the Stormcloaks are kind of just jerks to everyone. Like, the Imperials are kind of jerks in their own way, but at least they don't um, hate somebody just because they don't live or aren't weren't born in Skyrim, you know? Hello there. What troubles you, my daughter? Uh, nothing much. Whoa, cool. Look at that. Never seen that before. In this game, anyway. Oh, right, a room. What time is it? Oh my god, again. Okay, so I can make a mental note now that a knight does not have to rent a room here tomorrow night if she stays another day because we're getting it after midnight. Remember that, me. How long will I be staying? Uh, one night because I know I don't have a lot of gold. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And yeah, we didn't pick up any loot on that road, did I'll we? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Excuse me, madam. Uh, Thoring? You're gonna... What are you... You not... Okay. Let me know if there's anything else. Oh, there once was a hero named uh, actually, there is something. My horse is out in your... Um, pasture. Could you just maybe check on her once tonight? Make sure she's gonna be okay. She's new. I'm just a little worried about her. Um, excuse me. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. Understood. I already did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
you talk and you lie right. and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Ooh, Karita. Girl. And came flashing and You're not the best. As the brave last Matilda charged in full of zeal. Wow. They thought Lurbuck was and bad. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. <laughs> I guess I've never heard her sing that song. Right. Okay. Well, we're here in Dawnstar, so we're going to do a little bit of reading, and then we're going to call it a night. So again, uh, this is the end of the video. If you don't want to listen to it, just skip ahead to the next video. You won't miss any gameplay. Uh, again, this is added by the Wanderer's Tale mod, done by the gentleman who does the Elder Lore podcast. If you do a Google search for that, it'll come up. Um, this is a book of history, which Anai is quite interested in, about the Mythic Era. Histories, Mythic Era, by Carrick Oswin. Many scholars prefer to separate the so-called Mythic Era into two smaller distinctive eras. First, the Dawn, then the Merithic. In this book, we will differentiate, but bound them all together in one book. Change tenses there, I think. It is important to note, also, that some of the information contained within will vary depending on personal belief and religion. Ah, wise caveat there. Dawn Era. It is during the Dawn Era that time begins. In the void of Iurbis, Akatosh is given form. Soon after, more of the Et'ada, sometimes called original spirits, begin to take form around him. One of these is, in years after, known as Lorcan. Lorcan is Padomaic, where Akatosh is Anuic, meaning that within Lorcan is darkness, where within Akatosh is light. Lorcan envisions a new kind of divinity, and it is Nern. This new realm he would consider his own, and will enable him to achieve ultimate liberty, known as Numantia. Lorcan convinces the other Anuic spirits to give of themselves to help create Nern, Nern. <coughs> me. with Magnus serving as Nern's primary architect. It is at this time when the Padamaic spirits decide to create worlds of their own, and they will later be called the Daedric Princes. Mundus is made, the mortal plane, the hub of the wheel that is Iurbis. The creators, those of the Et'ada, who aided in Nern's creation, are crippled from their effort. Nern is chaos manifested, and levels of existence spawn other levels beneath themselves and on until mortals are made. Magnus and his followers, known as the Magna Gay, <laughs> sorry, Magna G? I'm going to say Magna G. Magna Gay sounds kind of funny. Perceive the trap that is Mundus and flee. They tear the holes into their new realm, which we see now as the stars and the sun. Akatosh, seeing what has happened, casts himself into Nern to bring order to the chaos. According to legend, the adamantine tower located on the Isle of Balfira was the vessel Akatosh used to descend into the world and remains there still. Akatosh's presence allows the chaotic forms of creation to coagulate and become ordered. He then calls the convention. The convention was the meeting of a council of the gods of Adamantine Tower, where they decided on what would be done with Lorcan. As punishment, Trinimac removes Lorcan's heart, forever separating him from his divine center. Ariel fastens the heart to his bow and fires it into the east, where it lands as a fiery meteor and forms Red Mountain. The development of mortal beings begin to follow, begins to follow slow but meticulous paths. <clears throat> Excuse me. Men and elves fracture and evolve along racial and cultural lines. Elves come to Tamriel from the now missing island of Aldmeris and spread throughout Tamriel, diverging as they go. Men split into racial groups like the Needs and the Nords. Other Elnafe become the Hist. Also during the Dawn Era, Jigalig, a particularly powerful Daedric prince presiding over themes of order, is cursed by his fellow Padamaics to split his realm with his new existence known as Sheogorath. They did so merely because they became fearful of Jigalig and how powerful he had become over time. With the separation of Lorcan from his heart, the Dawn Era ends. The Merithic Era. Excuse me one moment while I take a drink. The name itself, Merithic, implies that it is during this era that the Great Migration of the Elves began. In the early years of the Merithic Era, the beast races of Tamriel lived in preliterate communities in the wilds. After a time, the Aldmer, progenitors of all elven races, leave their doomed home of Aldmeris and land on Tamriel's shores. 
Nobody really knows where Aldmeris was located, though we can assume that since they first landed in Somerset Isle, that the island continent was somewhere to the south and west of Tamriel. At some point in the early Merithic, it comes under some kind of grave threat, and the elves are forced to sail for Tamriel. Some scholars claim that Aldmeris was not actually a physical homeland, but rather a collective image of the elven existence during the Dawn Era. The complete lack of evidence that the island continent ever existed seems to support this idea. The Animantine Tower is discovered by the elves and renamed after the Dureni clan. They build the Crystal Tower in their new home of Somerset Isle. They continue to push across the continent, settling in different areas as they go. As time passes on and these smaller Aldmeri communities evolve away from each other, the various sub-races of elves begin to coagulate. Torval, the pilot, a famed Aldmeri explorer, also known as Topol the pilot, charts the seas and sails up the river Nibbin, where he trades with the beast folk of the area. In exchange for the eight islands on which the Aelids, the Heartland High Elves, would later build the White Gold Tower, Torval gives the beast folk the gift of literacy. Other explorers continue east, and the first settlements in Vardenfell are built at the towers of Ald Ridania, Balfell, Tel Arun, and Tel Mora. The Dwemer, known as the Deep Elves, evolve as a free-thinking and reclusive clan that devotes themselves to the secrets of science, engineering, alchemy, and logic. They build expansive underground cities in the mountains that separate Skyrim and Resdane, Morrowind. The Chimer, sometimes called the Velothi, a band of Aldmer following the prophet Veloth, bring a high culture focused on the worship of their ancestors and of the Daedra of Resdane, where they are often at odds with the Dwemer below them. It is during this migration of the Chimer that supposedly the elven god Trinimac tries to stop the Velothi people from migrating. The Daedric prince Boethia, patron deity of the Velothi and mastermind of the migration, eats Trinimac, and the corrupted spirit that emerges becomes the Daedric prince called Malakath. Trinimac's followers and his agents in stopping the Velothi migration are, excuse me, are also corrupted into what we know as the Al Orsimer. Near the end of the Merithic era, the Velothi high culture evolves into the great houses of Morrowind. The Ashlander tribes scatter throughout the region, the last surviving followers of the teachings of Veloth. The Nords land in the northern region known as Merith, now known as Skyrim, fleeing the great freezing of their homeland at Etmora, far to the north. At first, the Nords live in relative peace with the Falmer, Merith's native inhabitants. Supposedly, a discovery of great importance beneath the new Nordic capital of Sarfal prompts conflict between the two. Eventually, the Falmer are driven into hiding or killed. Thus ends Book 1 of Histories, the Mythic Era. Thank you everyone for joining us. Myself, Anaig, and uh, Glim will be back uh, tomorrow morning for another adventure in which we will travel to Winterhold to, uh, well, I believe we'll travel to Winterhold. We'll, we'll see what... Excuse me! Young lady. Old lady. Whoever you are. Young lady. This is my room. Kindly take your leave. Well, we'll just pretend she's not there. Uh, right. Tomorrow we'll, we'll get our bearings on the town of Dawnstar and we'll potion up and, uh, then we will begin our trek toward Winterhold. So, uh, until then, farewell everyone, thank you again, and uh, take care.